Are you having a hard time getting a medical malpractice attorney to represent you? Well, the question is, are you doing any of these two things? Want to know what I'm talking about? Stay with me as I share with you this very important information. Hello guys, I'm Marcus Boston and I'm a medical malpractice attorney practicing law here in the state of Maryland and I would like to talk with you today quickly about two things that you may or may not be doing and if you are doing these things, these may be some of the reasons why it may be hard for you to get an attorney to represent you in your medical malpractice case. Now you may be watching and you're like thinking, well Marcus, what are these two things? Well the first thing that I would like to talk to you about is are you the type of person that you think that you know more than the attorney? That's right. You think that because you've taken a look at some things online or you've read some books or you've talked to a couple of friends of yours that you've got this medical malpractice process down, you understand all of the complexities of it, and now you're in a position to challenge pretty much all of the legal decisions that your attorney is making. Well guys, I'm gonna tell you this. If you are that type of person, you are probably gonna have a hard time getting an attorney to represent you. And the reason being is because, let's be real, if you are not an attorney and you don't have any experience in the Maryland medical malpractice arena, more than likely you probably do not know what you're talking about with a lot of this stuff from the legal aspect of things. And that's why you hired an attorney. You hired an attorney to help you get through it, to help you understand the process. Now, if you aren't willing to listen to your attorney or to take your attorney's advice about some of these complex legal situations, then you're probably gonna have a hard time getting a lawyer to want to represent you. The second thing, the second thing that you may or may not be doing, if you are doing this, then like I said, you gotta really listen to what I'm saying. The second thing that I wanna talk about is, do you have unreasonable expectations as to your case or as to your case value. So let's say hypothetically that your lawyer has looked at everything, looked at your medical records, looked at your bills, looked at your lost wages and all of these types of things. And your lawyer, let's say hypothetically, says that your case is worth $20,000 in his or her experience. This is probably what you're gonna get in this type of case. Well, if you're the type of person that thinks that, you know what, 20, no, that's too low. I think my case is worth $200,000. Well, then a strong argument can be made that, you know what, you're just being unreasonable. And if you are this type of person, if you are being unreasonable in your relationship with your attorney, it's going to be a very hard, more than likely for you, to find someone to represent you. So now, why have I taken the time today, this hot day, because I'm probably sweating by now, why have I taken the time today to talk with you about this? because I'm trying to help you get insight into this process. I'm trying to help you understand what you would have to prove to be successful in a Maryland medical malpractice case and what the process is going to be like. I'm trying to help you understand this process. If you have more questions about your situation, if you don't meet these two things that I talked about, these two issues, you don't have unreasonable expectations and you're willing to listen to an attorney, this is what I invite you to do. And guys, remember, it costs you absolutely nothing to take this action. And that is to go ahead and pick up the phone and give me a call. I can be reached at 301-850-4832. Or if you prefer, send me an email to medicalinjury at bostonlawllc.com. I answer Maryland medical malpractice questions like yours all the time, and I'll be glad to take some time and listen to your story. All right, guys, that's going to be it for today's quick educational video. Again, I'm Marcus Boston and I'm one of the medical malpractice attorneys here at Boston Law Group LLC, and we will see you next time. Guys, take care and enjoy the rest of your day.